Hello everyone, welcome to Witch Quickie. I am Lady Silver Sage and yeah, it's Wednesday. <laughs> I made it and you know, I've been gone for a while but I've had some spiritual things that I've had to take care of for myself. You know what the saying is, you cannot pour from an empty cup into somebody else's cup. Okay, so that's the reason that I've been gone. Now, I also want to let you know that I am the founder of witchcraftandmore.com and I'm also the founder of the Academy of International Witchcrafting. And if you would like to become a student there, we would love to have you. Courses are only $50 because we try to keep our prices low because we want to be able to make sure that you can afford to get the knowledge that we want everyone to have that wants it. So go ahead, send me a short message to Lady Silver Sage. I'll have the um, email address down below. Yeah, and we'll get you enrolled, okay? So now back to this. We are making a tonic today with this stuff here. It's called Stinging Nettle. Uh -huh. And it really does sting. For those of you who have never gotten stung by stinging nettle, you can trust me. I did this when I was trying to cut these off for this video today. Yeah, I, I got stung really bad and that sucker really hurts. It hurts. It does. Um, my husband cut these for me day before yesterday and they are not supposed to sting once they have sat for a day or two. Oh well. <laughs> um, before we go any further, I do want to tell you though, if you ever do get stung by stinging nettle, all you need to do is make a thick paste of baking soda and water and just mix it up really good. I also like to add uh, coconut oil to mine because it seems to soothe it a lot quicker. And then just put it on the spot where you've been stung. Let it sit for about, mm, about 30, 30 to 45 minutes and then you can just wash it off in lukewarm water and the stinging should be gone. And if there are any little blisters, they should be gone as well. So that I think is really important before we even get started with this stuff because this can be pretty doggone nasty. Another thing that I want to mention is if you are having any type of medical conditions or if you're pregnant or something like that, please speak with your physician first before using this stuff. Even though I do know from experience that for pregnant women, this stuff is really good, but still speak with your physician first, okay? Now, to get on with it, we are making a tincture. And yes, I do have my notes right here. <sighs> I just really don't want to forget anything because this herb or herb or crater if you're German it's really amazing okay it's just a weed some people say no it's not just a weed this stuff here has a whole host an entire plethora of healthful benefits um, I've got my list here I don't want to miss anything so I'm just gonna say at first it's good against allergies, hay fever. Uh, when you get this, this bronchitis in your, your, your uh, lungs, it's good against summertime and springtime hay fever. It really is. It's a seasonal herb and it goes with the seasons to help you heal different things specifically. Um, this is also good for arthritis and joint pains, any type of joint pains. That's another thing that I've been going through. <laughs> um, for those of you who know me, I do have Lyme disease and I do have um, a problem with my spine. 
So yeah, this stuff is something that I should have made a long time ago and hopefully you will make it also because I'm going to show you step by step how to make it. And just to remember that it needs to sit for a minimum of three weeks. And I say three weeks because I've even used it at two weeks before. You know, I just shake it all the time, every day. Whenever I get a chance, I just shake it and I put my power into it. I put my energies into it and I ask the Archangels of, of healing and uh, Archangel Raphael specifically to please imbue this with healing, okay? And it does work, trust me, it does. But you can use it, like I said, for allergies, for hay fever, you can use it for uh, bronchial problems, for respiratory problems. If you're a guy and when you have an enlarged prostate, you can use it to help cure that as well. Now, this is also good against kidney stones. Okay, if you've ever had a kidney stone, you know those things are just absolutely horrible. I just pray that uh, you don't get them and that I don't get them. Okay. Um, Let's see, you can use this against uh, high blood pressure. You can use this to stabilize your sugar, okay? It, and this is really good for people with type two diabetes. Very, very, very important for that because when you got type two diabetes, it can go on a scale of one to 10, one being the best, 10 being the worst, it can go up to 10 very quickly. Okay, so you might want to use this as quickly as you can. It's good against high blood pressure. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. And it's also good against hair loss. You guys, no, how do you, what do you call those? No, um, you guys, I lost the word. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm back. My brain just stopped for a moment. Sorry, that has to do with the um, the Lyme disease. Whew, yeah, but no, um, no extensions today. No extensions today, you guys. This stuff is really good um, for your hair, okay, for natural hair growth. And I know a lot of people that I just wish that they would go ahead and use this because I know that it works. It really does. And I want you to get the help that you need, okay? Another thing, okay. Um, 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 um. Something else which is really weird. <laughs> you can make a really yucky, nasty fertilizer out of this stuff for your plants and your veggies and your fruit trees and things like that, your fruit bushes, and, and for your roses of all things. My goodness, there's so many nutrients that are jam-packed into this one tiny little evil plant. Well, I didn't say evil. I, I did say evil. It's not evil, but it can hurt you. It can really, really hurt you. And that's that brings me on to this for us witches. This is a really good herb or herb or criter if you're German to send back negativity, hexes, curses, evil wishes, ill wishes, ill thoughts um, that have been sent to you, that have been put upon you by somebody else. Okay, and another thing is you can you can use this as just like, you know, with a charcoal disc and uh, you can even put this on there while it's not dry and it will smoke very, very good. Another thing is you can make a smudge stick or a smoke stick out of this stuff here. Let it dry and just go to town sending all of that evil and negativity back to the sender. And if you really want to get uh, junky with it, you can send it back times 10, okay, to the person that sent it to you. This stuff is most excellent for that. It's good for white magic. It's good for gray magic. And I hate to say it, but it's also good for black magic. Okay. Black magic is something that I don't do unless I have absolutely no other choice. Okay. I just want to make sure that I get that out there because I don't want anybody to be afraid. So you can use this in different types of food. You can put this in cheese. 
<laughs> you can put it in smoothies, you can make soups out of it, you can blanch them really well and then cook them in a little bit of butter, salt and pepper like you would greens, okay? And you can just eat them that way. Um, let's see, what else have we got here? You can use them as a tea, as a tincture, what we're making today. You can use them in capsule form, in tablet form. You can use them in soaps, different soaps. You can make a facial oil out of these also. Oh, you guys, I think I want to do that too. I want to make a facial oil out of these. Okay, but the first thing we're going to do today is make a tincture because it's really good to use in many different situations because this is such a healthy and healing and nourishing plant full of vitamins, antioxidants, full of minerals, full of all the things that your body really needs. So let's get this thing moving. Let's get it um, made. First thing that I want to do, I have already cleansed this with alcohol and now it's time for me to cleanse it with my sage, which removes 96.4% of all bacterias. And that's a good thing. And it also helps to remove the astral nasties, which might be lurking around you, on you, or in you. Now, a lot of people don't like this smell, and that's okay. What you can do instead of burning sage is you can take sage, oh I just, I'm sorry, you can take the sage leaves and you can put them in water, water like this, you know, put a halfway full of water and then you can use alcohol for the other half to fill it up and then you can swish it around in there, you know, when you've got a squirt bottle and then say your incantation over the squirt bottle that's filled with the sage, the water, and the alcohol. And then you can use it just like you would here, except for you don't have the smoke. And that's useful in a lot of different situations, especially those where you live with somebody who doesn't like the smell of this stuff. I will tell you at first, when I first started using it, I could not stand the smell of this. It was just awful. But after a while, it's like, wow, it really is nice. It's got such a green smell to it, such a an earthy smell. And just to think, you're cleansing away all of the bacteria that's around you, and you're cleansing away all of those astral nasties that just love to hang out near you, especially when your light is shining so brightly. It's like, yeah, we want some of that. We want to try to dim her light. Let me tell you something. Use some sage on those little effers. <laughs> yeah, I did say that. But make sure you have a window or a door open when you're using them. Otherwise, you're just going to be chasing them around and around. Okay. So, um, yeah, we got that going there. And now, here comes the hard thing. You guys, after, <laughs> after I got stung this morning, oh, <laughs> feel sorry for me. <laughs> I am going to use my little tongs here and I am just going to stuff these things in here. Ugh. Why do they have to be so mean? It's just like roses. Roses are so beautiful. Ooh, but child, they got them thorns on there. And they will hurt you in a heartbeat. What we're going to do is we're going to pack this stuff in at least three-fourths of the way full. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't let it touch you. Don't let it sting you. No, no. <laughs> Ugh. This is some good stuff. And don't forget, now, if you are getting this from somewhere other than your garden, which I grew these in my garden. You know what I have to say? I have to tell you this real quick. These were never in my garden. And I had been wanting these for so long. We live out here in the country and we live on the edge of a village. And... That can be a very, very good thing, but also it can be a very irritating thing because people like to bring their doggies down <laughs> this back road where we live and let them take care of business, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're going to use anything that you don't grow in your garden, you're going to have to wash that stuff off. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. You want to wash it off thoroughly because you don't want any of that yellow liquidy stuff in here. Now, what I was saying is that I really, really have been wanting some sage, or not sage, I'm sorry, some uh, stinging nettles because I really wanted to do this. I've done it before, but it's been a very long time. And that which I've had before, the, the tonic that I made and stuff for my hair, the oil, it is, it's gone. And I thought, okay, I got to do something. I got to get it made again. So, yeah. I came out there this year <laughs> to my uh, planting area. And lo and behold, there was stinging nettle growing just as, as proud as you please. And I was just so ecstatic, and I just thought, oh, thank you, thank you, great goddess. Thank you, thank you, Mother Earth, thank you, Mother Nature. Ow. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to leave like that. Can you see that? That's about three-fourths of the way full, okay? Eee push that over there so I don't get stung. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to take some vodka, vodka, and we're just going to cover it completely, okay? I like to leave a little bit of room at the top, hold on, because I want to be able to shake it. Now when you're pouring it in here, it's going to smoosh down a little bit more. We want to make sure though that we get it covered real good and then we leave some room at the top. Wait, I got my, my stirrer stick here. Okay, yeah. There we go. And you know what? I think I can put a little bit more in here because we want to get it filled up really well. You guys, I have had stinging nettle soup, and it is delicious. And it's full of iron and vitamins and minerals and everything that the body needs, like I've already said, so I'm not going to reiterate that, but you guys try it, try it, try it. And if you do try it, put it down there in the comment section. Let me know if you're really going to try this, because... I'm telling you now, I am wanting people to try this because it's going to improve your health. It's going to stop different viruses, okay? It's going to help stop these different known viruses. It's going to help you to strengthen your immune system. Oh, look at that. See how they all squish down? Look at that. Look at that all squished down. Just some more there. Wait a minute. Come here. You guys are not getting away from me. Come on. Eee. Eee. Okay, one more. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more of the vodka in here. <laughs> vodka. There we go. But only fill it up to there because I want to make sure that I can shake it. Here we go. I'm going to tell you a little secret. If you are growing this in your own garden or in a secret place where you know animals don't come, you don't have to wash this off, especially after it's rained already. Because the alcohol that you use in it, it's going to kill anything anyway. It's just a personal preference, okay? Gonna put this lid on here. Did I get this? I hope I got this on here right. We're gonna shake it up. Oh yeah, it's not dripping. I did good. <laughs> oh yeah. Can you see, you guys? And then what I'll do is I like to put this crystal on here. Sometimes I will actually put little tiny crystals in the elixir, but I'm trying it like this. 
And what I'm going to do, a lot of people are going to say that I'm crazy, but you know what? I am crazy and it's all right because that's me. Okay. You don't have to do it this way. This is just, these are just guidelines for you, but I'm going to take this mixture and I'm going to sit it outside in the sun, in nature. Okay. As often as I can, or if the sun is out there, but it's really windy and nasty weather, I'm going to sit it on a window seal where the sun can come in and shine down upon this. And every day I'm going to come through and shake it. I'm going to shake it five, six, seven times a day. Whenever I think about it, I'm going to put my intention into it. Okay. That's what you need to do. You need to put your intention into it because this is just like with air. Even though you can't see it, it's going to work. Trust me. Okay. But when you put your own intention into it, you make it so much stronger. All right. So be sure to put your intention into it, which I will do later on. But I'm just reminding you right now because that's one of the most important parts. And then how do you take it after a minimum of three weeks? You can have a little dropper bottle like this. Can you see? It's got a little squeezy thing here and you strain out all of the nettle. Or if you want, you can just pour the liquid into this bottle, leaving the nettle inside of there. And then you can add more nettle to that and then add more alcohol to that and just keep it going. That's what I do for a lot of my different um, infusions and tinctures and elixirs and things like that that I make. And then every day after this is ready, after three weeks, or, you know, however many weeks you wish, wish to leave it in there, you can take three drops of this underneath your tongue is the best way to do it. It's going to be very, very bitter, very bitter, but it's worth it. Take three drops of this under your tongue at least three times per day. Okay. And this, you're going to start seeing some major, major improvements, especially in your energy levels. Okay, you guys. So be sure to check it out. If you are going to make this, leave me a comment down below. If you have made it, leave me a comment down below. And you guys, that's all I've got for you today. But I think that is a wealth of information that hopefully you will be able to use. Thank you once again for being here. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not subscribed, please do. I would really appreciate that. I appreciate your support. All right. We will see you again the next time. Blessed be.